There is a coming war, most likely. Richard Haas, I think you'd agree. There, there, there is. It is more likely than not that there is a conflict, possibly a full-blown war, with an emerging nuclear power. We're actually closer, in my view, to a nuclear war uh, with North Korea and in that region than we've ever been. And I, I just don't see uh, how I don't see the opportunities to solve this diplomatically at this particular so, point. That we're probably closer to uh, an outright war with North Korea than we have been in a very, very long time. And I think there's about a 20 percent chance that we'll end up exchanging ordinance with North Korea at some point in a fairly significant way. About a 30 percent chance of war, I'd say, from where I sit right now. Probably not that far off. I'm really worried about um, a accidental move toward conflict given the overall the overall refusal to comply with the Security Council and this the lack of trust the lack of communication um, the high risk of some kind of miscalculation. I say fears don't flinch I mean you have reason to be scared of a war that could wipe out 500,000 people no I just think he wants weeks. to use nukes that's what I think he feels well they could easily construe what he's been saying as uh, a, a declaration or at least a threat of, of war He understands communism, and historically, communism is, is like a wild animal. It senses weakness. Weakness provokes it. it. It backs down from noise and bluster, but it attacks weakness. And that was true with Vienna and Kennedy and brought us to the brink of a nuclear war with the Cuban Missile Crisis. And it's been true throughout history. Reagan stood tough. It scared everybody, but he stood tough, and the communists backed down.